Hello everyone, I am Sarfraz from MobileSMSPK.net and today I am going to review Qmobile Noir LT700 Pro. So let's get started. I have already made unboxing video of Qmobile LT700 Pro and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile LT700 Pro has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution. Phone also has 13 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera and powered by 1.3 GHz quad core processor coupled with 3 GB of RAM. This phone is actually made by Gioni, which is a Chinese company. And the model name is Gioni F103 Pro. And Qmobile launches that mobile in Pakistan by the collaboration with Gioni. Let's start with call quality of the phone. Call quality is very good, voices are crisp and clear on both ends. I have not faced any distortion during my testing. Let me give you physical overview of the phone. On front there is 5 megapixel camera along with sensor. 5 inch HD IPS screen and navigational buttons below the screen. Notification LED is missing on this phone. On top of the phone there is 3.5mm headphone jack. Volume rockers and power button on the right. Micro USB port and microphone on the bottom. Nothing on left side of the phone. On back there is 13 megapixel camera along with LED flash and speaker grill at the bottom. Display is made of 2.5D curved glass and sides are made of metal along with chamfered edges. But back cover is made of plastic. There are dedicated navigational buttons but they do not light up so you might face problem to use them in dark. Build quality of the phone is very good. Phone feels solid and sturdy, even though it is made of plastic, but phone does not feel cheap. Phone has dedicated dual SIM slots and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use two SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. Phone supports 4G LTE and up to 128 GB micro SD card. Let me show you the weight of the phone. Phone has 16 GB of internal storage from which around 9.6 GB is available out of the box. You can always expand internal storage through micro SD card slot. Phone supports up to 128 GB card. Phone comes with 3 GB of RAM from which 1.8 GB is available on first boot. Sound is loud and clear on the phone. I don't prefer speakers on the back of the phone as it can be easily muffled when you put your phone on the desk. Let me show you how loud the speaker is. Phone has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution and 294 dpi. Display looks bright and sharp, color saturation is good, but color tone is little bit on cooler side. Viewing angles are impressive on the phone. Even though it is not a full HD display, but you won't notice any pixel on the phones. Sunlight visibility is acceptable, you can use this phone outside without any problem. You need to crank up the brightness to full to use it at outdoors. There is a theme park app installed on the phone which provides additional themes and this is how they looks like. Collection of wallpapers is also available on theme park app. There is animated clock widget as well which animates when you touch on that. And if you don't like themes available on theme park app then you can create custom themes on chameleon app. This is how you can create theme using chameleon app. Phone is powered by 1.3 GHz quad core processor with MediaTek MT6735 64-bit chipset. Phone also has 3GB of RAM and Mali T720 GPU. Phone has accelerometer, proximity, light and magnetic sensors. 
let me show you the benchmark scores here is entry to score and here is the geekbench single and multi core scores i will make comparison and speed test video of qmobile lt700 pro with qmobile j7 and j5 so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now so you will get the alert when that video will be available day to day performance of the phone is very fast and i have not noticed any lags or hiccups phone supports up to 5 finger touch phone does supports otg and you can run media files directly from external pen drive Qmobile LT700 Pro runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Amigo 3.2 UI. This UI comes only with Xiaomi phones, so whenever you see this UI, you can guess that phone must be made by Xiaomi. Amigo UI is inspired by iOS and just like iOS, notification slider is located at the top. And to access quick toggle slider, you need to slide up from bottom. There is a fake call option available on the phone which mimics like a real call and you will get fake call after 15 seconds. And if you want to take a screenshot of long screen then you can do so by using super screenshot option and this is how you can do that. If you are running out of battery and don't have facility to charge the phone then you can switch your phone to extreme power saving mode. On this mode you can only perform basic task on the phone but on the other hand your phone battery can survive for several more hours. Let's take a look at some of the additional features available in advanced setting menu. There are only 3 gestures available on this phone, double tap to wake and black screen gestures are missing on this phone. Available gestures are pause alarm, smart vibration reminder and smart bright screen. Phone has quick button feature and when you enable it, a floating mobile button will appears on the screen which has number of useful shortcuts available. Like you can shrink down the screen size to easily use it from one hand. You can hide this button by long pressing on it. There is an option to set the schedule time to power off or on the phone automatically. This feature is useful if you want to power off the phone at night hours while sleeping. Mobile phones usually comes with number of bloatwares and this phone is not exception. Some useful apps are pre-installed on the phone like File Manager, System Manager, Facebook, WhatsApp, Theme Park and Chameleon. There is a Gamelot folder which contains 4 games and these games cannot be deleted and because these are only trial versions so you cannot play them either but you can disable them. Phone is powered by 2400 mAh user replaceable battery. Battery timing of the phone is average. I have managed to get 3 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness during my testing. So it is quite possible you might get better battery time. It takes around 1 hour and 45 minutes to charge the phone. Phone comes with 13 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera. Quality of back camera is good and interface is very intuitive. There are number of modes available on the phone. You can pause this video to watch them all. Front flash is missing on the phone but you can use skin flash to take selfies in dark environments. Phone can capture up to 1080p videos. Let me show you the shutter speed and picture quality of the camera. Here is the picture quality of back camera. You can notice that all the details of the picture are clear when you zoom it. Here is the picture quality of front camera. Details are not clear when you zoom the picture. 
Currently, Q-Mobile LT700 Pro is the cheapest phone available in the market which comes with 3GB of RAM. Phone has good build quality, stylish looks, vibrant skin and user replaceable battery. But there are few drawbacks as well like fingerprint sensor and LED notification are missing and average battery life. But I am still recommending this phone just because of 3GB of RAM. You will get the better understanding of the performance of this phone when I will compare it with other phones. So that was the review of Q-Mobile Noir LT700 Pro. Gaming review of Q-Mobile LT700 Pro will be available soon on this channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions, do let me know in the comment section below. For more information, please do visit my website.